welcome back to another diecast review. Going to go ahead and apologize for how bad the lighting is right now. I don't have a lot of room to record, and I got a 124 sitting here. So yeah, but anyway, this is um, Brad Keselowski's 2019 Martinsville win. Uh, the first Martinsville, not the playoffs one. But I saw this in person, so that's why I got it. And I will tell you the story about ooh, how I was rooting for Chase Elliott the whole time. But at the same time, rooting for Bowman, knowing Bowman wasn't going to win that year. But he proved me wrong. So, you know what? Anything can happen. Let's just uh, just move on. But, yeah. Uh, here's your just standard box. Nothing special. Nothing elite. Nothing great. But, of course, with the back. Oh, there you go. You got the race schedule. It's going to change for next year, so get a good look at that. I'm going to actually want to show you a good look at that. Okay, you're good. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 505 made only, 2019 Mustang. Uh, Martinsville win. Yeah, Brad Kozlowski. So, um, unfortunately, this has not come with everything it used to. I don't mean the die cast. I mean, like, just in general, every die cast. Um, we used to get a winter sticker, a winter card, and confetti. We do not get confetti anymore, which is disappointing, because I wanted that confetti from freaking Alex Bowman, but no, can't do that, but alright, whatever. So, yeah, pulling her out now, set her down there, box, go, no, no, go somewhere. Uh, now with what you got, ooh, okay, so, Lionel Garage, no one cares. Um, winter sticker. Oh, drop that as well. Nice. And then we got the card as well. So, got that. Going to pick up the winter sticker because no winter sticker you're left behind. Okay. So this is my second Brad win. Uh, the first one I had was the um uh, Talladega win from 2017. Yeah, 2017. Where I had cheers to Dale on it. So that's on honestly the only reason I got it. So like. I don't know, I may sell it, I may not, who knows. But, yeah. Um, screw it to the base. So, I'll be back. I'm gonna try to get this off. Now that the base is off over, uh, let's look at the card, shall we? Again, I was here, that's why I bought it, or I wouldn't have cared either way. Martinsville Speedway, Brad Kozlowski, STP 500 winner. Martinsville, Virginia, March 24th, 2019. Time of race was 3 hours, 21 minutes, and 54 seconds. I actually rewatched this whole race like uh, uh, four days ago. He started third, not bad. Total laps was 500 for 263 miles, of course, SCP 500. There were seven cautions for 56 laps. He led 446 laps of this whole thing. Brad um, took the lead after five laps. Logano got the pole. Uh, he won all stages from what I remember. And he ended up losing the lead, but he retook it after a pit stop. And I think the only leaders were like Brad, Logano, and Chase. I could be wrong, but those were like the three main guys. So, yeah, Chase kind of led a little bit. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Kozlowski ticks off second Martinsville win. Brad Kozlowski led... All but 54 laps of the SD, STP 500 at Martinsville Speedway, dominating the competition and taking home the second grandfather clock trophy of his Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series career. Now it's not going to be a thing anymore. No more NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series. No more of this bad boy right here. Still probably not going to get um, freaking banners on our diecast. Not only was, was, it team, was it the Team Penske driver's second win at the historic Virginia track, it was also a second victory of the 2019 season. So this was quoted by Brad Kozlowski. Ford worked really hard in the offseason on these cars to make them strong and so far so good, Kozlowski said. Great day for our team. So yeah, that's kind of what was going on during the race. I uh, hope I got my facts right. I know, I think we're going to go pull. Yeah. Okay. So here's a die cast. Pretty nice. I love um, the Ford like Mustang look in 124 uh, scale. Looks good in 164 scale, but in 124 looks a little bit better. 
Like I said, this is the second brad I have. That is a win. And this is the second. No, this is the... What would it be? What would it be like the fourth raced win I have of Cup Series? I don't know. But I don't have many of these. And I'm actually thought about selling a few. Just that I didn't really want anymore. Uh, maybe. Who knows? But, yeah. So, let's take a look at this die cast. Uh, on the roof here, or the roof, what? On, on the hood here, Jesus. Got Reese. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Pennzoil Ford uh, Mustang right there. Got some tape and whatnot. Got some scruffs. Scruffs and scuffs. Got the number two here. Got some uh, Lincoln Welders. Mechanical wear. Uh, Sunoco. You know, just some contingencies. Not much. Got like one little flick of confetti on the splitter here. I got some more confetti up here on the roof. Nothing special. On the um, windshield, got the Monster Energy banner there because it is not on a, um, not really, well, yeah, Hendrick Motorsports. So, on the roof, nothing special. I think the two's a little small. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I think it's a little small, though. Got some confetti there. Uh, roof flaps to deploy. Got a little camera there. And you got Keselowski on the back. Den number 354. Out of how many other? 505 i think i said worth right here on the back uh doesn't open trunk or the deck lid doesn't open i wish it did just come on uh, why can't we have elites like i don't know 26 or not 16 well 16 kind of but 2017 you remember that where um like there was like te like tethers and there was braces and stuff underneath the hood a bunch of detail you know, those days, and the ARCs, they had everything opening, but just just less detail. Can we go back to those days, please? Like, uh, I think they did that because of prices, but there's draw tight there. A lot of truck parts snap on. Got a little bit of rubber buildup and stuff going on here. Got some uh, scrapes and scuffs. Not much, but yeah, it's got some stuff on the tire here. Uh, you got the right, the right rims. What? The white rims. I mean, I guess the right ones. Um, some more confetti here, not much. Got the Monster Energy logo there. Got a winter stick. Oh, God, I don't remember where he won. Oh, was it? Ooh, I forgot where he won. Oh, I'll just edit it in. I forgot to look at that. Oh, that sucks, but oh well. Um, got Brad Kozlowski on the name right here. Got Ford, Reese, can't read that one, PPG. Uh, was that Mazak? And I want to say Snap-on? I don't know what that one is, the S. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, Light discount tire, draw tight, Lions truck parts, no I'm kidding, uh, Lions truck parts, I always said that because like snap on like this was dented in pretty good. Of course, with it being Martinsville, if you have this corner here, this bad boy right here, you're going to get bumped, you're going to get moved, you're going to get pushed at Martinsville. So that's exactly what happened to Brad right there. So uh, uh, SKF, Auto Trader, stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, really nice die cast. Uh, I was going to get an Elite. But I was like, eh, Bowman's Wind's coming out in Elite soon, and I want it. But my stupid self said, hey, let's go shopping for stuff on eBay. And I ended up spending $20 too much. Yay. <laughs> so now I had to wait. But uh, that should be coming in soon as well. But, I mean, yeah. Like, pretty pretty cool, I believe. Uh, I believe, yeah. Uh, it's awesome to go to NASCAR race. I'm telling you what, man. If you ever want to go to a race and you can please do it do it just do it mark it off the bucket list and just do it like it is incredible the smell of the rubber the fire of the engines just it's it's incredible it's really really awesome um i actually passed by jamie little i don't know if it was this race but it was a martinsville race she literally like she was jogging for it like she was jogging right by so i'm like what? Because I go look at my friend because I was with uh, Mr. Nascar 2003. I'm like, dude, that's Jamie Little. He's like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah. Wow. Speak of the devil, I just got an Instagram message uh, or in a group message. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. But yeah, she like jogged right past us and it was like, huh. Would you look at that? I should have just yelled Jamie and see if she got a, re a reaction. Oh, I wish I did that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was just, I'm getting excited about the race. The race was just really, really awesome. Uh, got a bad sunburn? Yeah, that's that's a risk. Um, sunburn? Not good sleep. I had to sleep in a car on the way home overnight. So, with a sunburn. So, I didn't feel good, but 
Uh, we made it. It was all right. It's definitely worth getting a sunburn for a race. I'll, I'll tell you that much. So if you want to go to a race, please go. Do yourself a favor. I suggest a night race at a short track. Uh, I don't know if there is any more of those, but I went to Bristol, a Bristol night race one time. Uh, it was where Joey Logano, or not Joey Logano, what? Was it Logano? No. Oh, it was Kenseth and, um, Kenseth, who was the other guy? Oh, Kenseth and Stewart. That's who it was. Matt Kenseth and Tony Stewart, uh, or Stewart threw his helmet at Kenseth. It was, it was pretty nice. I actually met Martin Truex Jr. there as well, and that's where Denny Hamlin ended up winning the race. So, yeah, that's like that was really awesome. You can see the sparks fly. You can see the flames and like the uh, the heat from the brakes underneath the tires, like in the wheel wells. It was just really, really awesome. So please do yourself a favor and go to a race. I don't care if it's daytime, nighttime, anything. Just go to a race. Do yourself a favor and go. Get up, listen to the engines. It's going to be a good time. But we saw other drivers too. Uh, we saw Corey LaJoy. Uh, he was talking, and we got to sit and listen to him talk for a few minutes. I think we got him right, right at the end. Um, we saw Kyle Busch walk around. We saw uh, Jimmy Johnson walk for a little bit. Uh, he was just walking to the track. Um, we saw Truex walk. Um, I think that was, no, that, that was his race. But yeah, we saw Truex walk. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool, but how Brad did his burnout was really awesome. I kind of complained at the beginning because he did it at the other side of the freaking track. And I'm like, really? You're going to do it all the way over there? All the way over there. And then he, like, swings it around and, like, does a burnout in, front, in, like, the front stretch. And he, he rolls around and goes to the back way. Or, like, the back stretch. So, I mean, yeah, pretty cool race. Uh, really, really awesome. Again, do yourself a favor and please go to one. You will not regret it. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Um, and finally show you the engine detail, because you probably wonder about that. I kind of forgot, I'm not going to lie. Because I was, I was talking about the racing, man. I was. I was getting into it. You can't, you can't judge me, dude. Come on. There we go. Engine detail is just your standard. Nothing special. But, yeah, you, you can barely see it. Got a little bit of painted stuff in there. That's about it. You know, nothing, nothing special. Again, nothing elite. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, God, that was hard.